Hello friends. So I'm happy to have you here. <laughs> My name is Oshina. I am very excited for this reading vlog. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a reading contemporary romance reading vlog. And this is my favorite genre. So I'm very excited about this. And I've already been reading a couple, but I hadn't started the vlog yet. So I was like, well, we'll just continue. Okay, there's so many books that I want to read. So I'm very excited. And I got so many compliments on this sweater in my April TBR. So thank you. And I did change the color of the headband to match my shorts. So I feel really cute <laughs> and I'm on the floor with my books and I am excited to show you some books because I have so many options for this video and I almost wish you guys could vote but I just want to like do this right now. So we'll see how many books end up in this video. I'm gonna keep reading contemporary romance until I get sick of it <laughs> which is hard to do. So who knows how many books will be here, but I did take a thumbnail holding a bunch of books. I don't know if I'll read all of these, but I'm excited to show you them. Also, I made myself a nice coffee with a little bit of cold foam on the top. So I'm just in my vibe right now. Like, <laughs> I'm feeling good. Okay, so like, what do I even start with? Uh, a lot of these are library books and I will say like, I've been going hard at the library and I've been neglecting my physical TBR. So I definitely need at least one of the books I read in this video to be for my physical TBR. And there's two options. Wait, two? Yeah, two options only because like, I don't have a ton to choose from. Although I could add this to it. I could add this to it. You guys. Maybe this book should be in this video. Okay, you guys, Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. This book was a keep this book book <laughs> because it's a long story, but I did request this book from the library. And when it came in, it said, you can keep this book. So I now own this book and I will say it's adorable. I love the pink cover and the pink spine. So I'm going to keep it <laughs> unless like it's totally disturbing on the inside. So I'm going to give it a go. So... I actually didn't expect for this book to be in this video, but here we go. I've never read anything from Allie Hazelwood. In my book shopping video, which I'll link down below, I did look at Bride by Allie Hazelwood, and I have heard absolutely disturbing things about that book. Will not be touching it, okay? And I do know that she has, I think, open door scenes in her books. So, but I'm curious enough to like start it so that I can at least have like an opinion to share other than just what I've heard. I did that with Abby Jimenez. I tried, well, I barely got, I read the first page of The Friend Zone and the first page of the Happy Ever After playlist. <laughs> but Allie Hazelwood, I don't know how she writes. So here we go. I'm sure a lot of you have an opinion if you've already read her books. I have not. So. I will read a couple pages and see how it goes, okay? But the other books that I own are here. So the number one that I definitely want to read is The First Taste by Anna Conwell. I have been meaning to read this for so long since I got it. I'm worried I'm not going to like it. There's a lot of hype around this author and I've been told like by a lot of people that they think I'll like this book and sometimes that worries me because I'm like... Usually it backfires and I don't like the book. So yeah, but I just, I have to know. So this is a friends to lovers story and a fake dating, I think. So I love those tropes. So we'll see. And it's also pretty short because the text is really big. So yeah, and it's so cute. It's like yellow and stuff. So anyways, so this book will for sure be in the video. And then I do really want to finish this book, Falling for Your Enemy, but it's big, you guys. Why am I being such a butt about that? Like, who cares that it's big? It's a quick read. This is a maybe, okay? But it finishes a series too, so come on. Um, okay, also from the library, I got The Breakup Tour by Emily Wiberly and Austin Siegmund Broca. <laughs> That's a mouthful. This is one of those cases where it's like, use a pen name 
okay? <laughs> like, I would have to use a pen name. No one could pronounce my name if I put it on a book, okay? My first and last name. People can't can't say it. So, just saying. I would use a pen name. What would my, would my pen name be? No idea. I haven't thought of that because I'm probably not going to be an author. But these authors, <laughs> their last names are a mouthful. Okay, this is Taylor Swift Coded, as they say. I read a young adult book by this author duo. Super boring. <laughs> it was super boring. Didn't like the writing. Bored. Now they're writing adult romance and I mean it probably has open door scenes in it too. So yeah. You can't win. You really can't. So I don't know if I'm gonna read this book but here it is. I have it. Because like it's a Taylor Swift book and I like Taylor Swift. I do. She has a new album coming out this month. I hope I like it. We'll see. But either way, so this one's a maybe. It's going in the maybe pile. Um, okay, and then I've been meaning to read this stinking book. Keep holding on, Melissa Tag. Come on. Should I read it? Yeah, I should. But I'm like worried I'm not gonna like it. See, like, I do this to myself. All these books, literally these books, I put off reading them. They like should be amazing five-star reads for me, but I'm worried I'm not gonna like them. So I'm just like putting off finding that out. So then I read like middle of the road books. Why? And this is why I filmed that this video ends when I read a five star book because I wanted to challenge myself to actually read books that I think will be five stars, which I try to do anyways. Anyways, I'm in a mood, okay? Another thing, my library, something happened and my library has a whole bunch of Jenny Proctor books on audiobook, on large print. So I am currently listening to, right in this moment, probably not by the time you see this video, it's gonna be done. How to Kiss Your Enemy by Jenny Proctor on audiobook. I will say the dude's voice is not good. It's deep and like scratchy and not attractive at all. Okay, so that's too bad. Girl's voice is awesome, really good narrator for the girl. But I'm into the story. So yeah, it's actually book two, two, a little companion series. The first book was How to Kiss Your Best Friend. And this is like a Hawthorne Brothers series. So one of the Hawthorne Brothers is in this book. And then another Hawthorne Brother is in How to Kiss Your... Oh no, it's not How to Kiss Your Enemy. How to Kiss Your Grumpy Boss. I got it mixed up with this one. <laughs> Falling for Your Enemy. How to Kiss Your Grumpy Boss is the Jenny Proctor one that I'm currently listening to. I'm liking it. It feels four star level. I definitely want to keep listening to it. So how did this happen? Like I thought self-published authors don't go in libraries, but she did for some books. I don't know. So there's this Love Redesigned book and I think this is the first one, but they're all a some kind of love novel because then there's Love Off Limits and Love in Bloom, which is such a cute cover. So yeah, I, so wow, I'm excited. I I guess let's just start with the two for sures. And then I feel like I want to put this book in the for sure pile too. And then we'll see if I'm sick of contemporary romance at that point or not. So I don't know what will be read in this video. So stay tuned. It'll be a surprise. But I'm like kind of curious about this one. But no, let's start with this one because it's truly come on i need to read it but i kind of really want to see this <gasps> see this is where i wish you guys could tell me what should i start with Hello friends, update time. I did start this book and I like it a lot. I I just didn't know what to expect because like this author is very popular on Instagram. I see her just posting a lot of things. A lot of people are promoting her books and she seems to pump out books fairly quickly as well. I can tell it's in a series because they did mention some like friends and like relationships that I'm like oh I wonder what happened there and then I was like oh I bet there's a book for that story because I think this is book three in a companion series but 
she is a good writer because one of the things that indie authors do really well is playing into a trope and placing like perfectly curated romantic scenes that we all know are like so cute and we love to read them. This has some like really cute moments in it that just make the romance more interesting because you alternate perspectives in this book so you do get the guy's perspective which is key okay we all want to know what the guy is thinking even if it's not realistic we don't care i want the cuteness i want him to think she's beautiful and all the things and so we're in his perspective and he sees her wearing his sweater and he like likes that and it's just that and then it moves on but like even that was good like i'm glad she included just like the subtle little things to show why the guy like feels connected to her and likes her that told me like okay she knows what she's doing <laughs> and i'm happy about it so i have very high hopes for this book i like it a lot um it's clean it's not vulgar in any way they're not like talking about each other's bodies or what they want to do together or whatever but there's just those subtle things included that i just think is great and i just feel like as a romance reader this is what we want to read you know we want to see those things and that's why powerless by lauren roberts was such a slam dunk for me because it had every single thing that a couple could do that i just like get so giddy over and absolutely love to read so Anyways, just saying that this is doing great things and I'm very thankful to everyone who has highly recommended this book and this author to me and if things go well here, like I'm going to need to read all of this author's books. So that's very exciting and well done to Anna Conwell so far anyways, like okay, I'm on page 66 but I've just been enjoying myself. It's a very quick read. Her writing is great, like it's not boring it's not poor quality in my opinion like again with indie authors sometimes the writing style is just not as cohesive but this one doesn't feel that way this feels really good so i just had to say that i'm looking forward to finishing it and i think i'm gonna finish it quicker than i expected i kind of gave myself this week to read this book because today is monday for me i have no idea when you're gonna see this video i don't know how long this is gonna last but in this moment in time it is a monday for me and so I am hoping to definitely get some of it read this week. Hi guys, back in the car. <laughs> I finished the first taste. I don't know who's around me right now. I didn't do a check. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Okay, um, so I'm actually in the library parking lot because this is my happy place, but I did finish the first taste, so I brought this with me so that I could talk about it. I loved this book. It was really fun. I do feel like it dragged a little bit in the second half, so I feel not quite sure if I can give it a full five stars. It, it's a 4.5. And so I'm like, do I just round it up to five? Like, why do I have to be so specific? Just give it five because it was really great. This is close to my ideal friends to lovers fake dating story. I just feel like there could have been maybe more explored in how to communicate um, better than just flipping out. But I also know that that's a normal human reaction is also to flip out and be unreasonable, but we don't wanna read that. <laughs> so there's that. So that's what brought it down. It was like looking for just a little bit more, but I still loved reading it, was super impressed. Definitely wanna read more from this author and I can't wait to keep reading. I just feel like I'm being picky with my five stars when it comes to romance. Yeah, this was a great start to the video and now I know I really like this author's writing. I'm very impressed, like definitely high quality. I can tell that she puts a lot of effort into 
her writing style and I do think that it's really good and I like it. So I am excited to keep reading. I'm almost done with How to Kiss Your Grumpy Boss and this is definitely going to be a solid four stars almost 3.5 as well and here's where like I never used to care about half stars but now that I am becoming more picky in my reading half stars would be really useful because How to Kiss Your Grumpy Boss is definitely more in the 3.5 range than 4 but would, I'll just give it 4 because like it's super enjoyable I'm listening to the audiobook it's good I, I really like Jenny Proctor's writing in particular I think I'm not as into the relationship I like the characters themselves, but them together, I think I'm just like, mm, I don't know. It's just not hitting for me. I don't have like super high expectations. And yet, I mean, so why, why don't I just give this five stars then? I don't know. It's hard to explain sometimes like how you feel about a book. So hopefully I explain myself well enough that you guys can see if these are books that you would want to read, but these are all clean. Like this, there was only kissing in this book. There was nothing like sexual about it. And same with How to Kiss Your Grumpy Boss. Um, there's kissing and they describe like being really into each other, but it's not like it doesn't go inappropriate in my opinion makeup <laughs> but yeah so I will finish that and then I'm really on the fence of what I want to start next because it's like do I start love on the brain or I I am in the library parking lot and I picked up some other books <sighs> this is why I love the library because you can like get so many books on your option list and then see if they're actually good and if you actually want to read them we'll see we're going into the weekend now so I just haven't picked another book because once again work is busy you guys so i am balancing this but it's going good like i'm having a good time i'm still reading for enjoyment so that feels good Hi friends, here for an update. So I'm in like an audiobook phase. I've been really into listening to in particular Jenny Proctor's books on audiobooks. So I did finish How to Kiss Your Grumpy Boss, gave it four stars, was enjoyable. I would recommend it. It was clean, no language. Um, it was about this single mom and she is with her boss in the end. So I really liked it. I ended up diving right into How to Kiss Your Enemy and I am loving this one. Surprisingly, because this is like a classic enemies to lovers. But what I like about it is they are actually nice to each other though at the same time. Like they like to insult each other in a very lighthearted kind of way. And they think each other doesn't like the other but they're still like they offer kindness when it calls for it as well and i really like that and i just really like the progression of the plot and the character growth this feels five star level you guys i can't believe it the audiobook is great i'm loving both voices this time and i just i'm really into this book so yeah how to kiss your enemy by jenny proctor check it out it might be in your library now because it's in mine so surprised but it's also on kindle unlimited so check that out and then i did start love on the brain by ali hazelwood and i this so real talk okay we're talking about romance here i know that everyone's comfort level is so different and I've seen a lot in particular like related to book talk of like spice and spicy books and just that it feels like the romance market is so saturated with spicy books now and this is one of those books. I mean I just started it so far it's fine they 
I mean, she has used the F word once. I'm reading this with extreme caution and kind of trying to do like a, an analysis of myself, of my own heart, of what this book represents, like just in general, like the romance reading world. I get deep with this because I'm just so fascinated by how we're so drawn to romance books like this and Spice in particular. And there's different words for it. And I fully believe it is a certain thing, but I also don't want to shame anyone. So it's such a tricky thing to navigate for me, but I, I'm here for it. I feel truly like a calling on my life that I am meant to be in this romance space, figuring this out and sharing the books that I read along the way um, and just being very upfront about that. So thank you for being here with me. And if you have any thoughts, feel free to share them as long as they're kind. But I guess I'm just saying this because I'm using this book as my way again of like, really reflecting on the kind of content that I'm drawn to, that I want to be reading, that I want to represent on my channel, that I want to recommend. I'll let you guys know how it goes, but I think it's worth talking about. Um, I've mentioned this a little bit throughout my videos this year, and I just feel so strongly that God wants me here in this space, and I'm going to try really hard to honor him, but then also be aware that like I am where I am and I'm not perfect and yeah I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna read things that I wish I didn't but there's grace and Jesus has washed us clean so we're okay we're going to be okay and I will let you guys know how this goes I may DNF it I may skip parts I don't know but just so you know <laughs> that's where I'm at so I've mainly been listening to audiobooks and then I will be slowly reading that book too Hello friends, welcome back. <laughs> um, okay, I'm feeling funky today. I'm feeling spicy today. So get ready. Here we go. Okay, number one, I finished How to Kiss Your Enemy. I love this book. I loved it. Five stars. Surprised, okay? Because, be honest here. Okay, I'm being honest here. That for the most part, indie published romance books, and in particular, Usually the writing for me is like more, it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, not everything needs to be this like deep reflection, whatever, because we're gonna get there, be prepared. But anyways, I'm just saying, I love this book. I loved the writing, I loved the characters, I loved how it went. It was funny, it was deep, it was emotional, it was cute and romantic, and truly, I loved it and I would give it five stars. I'm so surprised. Like, there's rarely an enemies to lovers in contemporary romance that I like. But for me to love this one, amazed. And I really do like Jenny Proctor's writing. I like the way that she writes romance and how she sets it up and the way she even writes her kiss scenes. Like, I like it. It, it makes the message clear, but it doesn't feel R-rated. Okay, it feels PG-13 and that's what I need. Okay, so yeah, I, I would highly recommend this. There's no language, they do make out. For me, it didn't raise any alarms. So I'm very excited to finish this series. Look at me go reading the series. My library is gonna get in How to Kiss a Movie Star, but it's just not ready yet. It's coming in July. So I have to wait that long, but yeah. So I'll definitely be reading it though. I'm really excited about that. So that feels good. And then let's just talk about this book. I am gonna DNF it, but I am gonna put a review on Goodreads so that everyone can see. Cause I read, well, I didn't read that much. I read like 50 pages, which isn't much, but I did like, like I said, I was gonna do, I did a lot of reflecting, some praying, and I just, I feel very conflicted about this book, but ultimately I wanna spend my time reading other things. But I want to share about this because I feel very passionate about spreading the word about clean options and then also books that just aren't, just aren't. And the writing style I liked, she has a similar writing style to Catherine Center. So definitely witty and just kind of these funny quirky characters get into like messy situations. I'm just trying to find the line between 
what do I personally like subject myself to and read just so that I can put a review out there saying that it's not clean. Again, I'm going through this, figuring this out, but thank you for being along the ride. And I just want to make it very clear that if you personally read this book and liked it, good for you. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. There are other options out there and I personally can't read Spice. I'm just very conscious of that, but I'm not saying that I'm better than anyone else or that you should not like this book because it's very cute and it's funny. This is like a hate to love enemies to lovers story and I could see the setup and everything. So it is what it is, but I am not going to finish this book and I'm probably going to just I don't know, give it to the thrift store or something, but just wanted to give that update. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. It, it brought out quite a few discussions and just my chatty self, which I always love. Um, so kind of a recap, I finished the first taste by Anna Conwell, gave this five stars, more like 4.5. Then I finished How to Kiss Your Grumpy Boss, gave that four stars. And then How to Kiss Your Enemy is five stars. And then Love on the Brain is a DNF. So yeah, that is everything for this video. Thank you for watching, you guys. Again, I really appreciate you being on this journey with me, and there is more coming. I have lots of plans, and I just have to make the time to make them happen, but I just believe in this, and I really like love being here, and I love talking with you guys. I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!